Hello everybody and welcome to the PCTechland.net review of the Zoom software. Um, I already preloaded this uh, software so you won't get the real boot time on my computer but it averages um, from around 4 to 6 se seconds to load up. So we're going to load it up from the already cached memory. Here we go, we're going to put this in full screen. Hey look, there goes me. Uh, Okay, anyways, um, we're going to start off with the basics. So right here, you have Quick Play. This is all your Quick Play from new videos and music you added, uh, what's on your computer. You don't need to put in a specific folder. Zune automatically searches for you, searches new um, media for you in your hard drive, but that can sometimes be an annoyance because I actually didn't want this in here, so you know give and take also you have your pins of the, your top three artists you also have your histories and yes I've been listening to Alicia Keys no homo I guess no um and here's my recent albums and right here we have quick play you can go to collection uh, this shows all of your albums and artists and you can go to all of your videos, your pictures, podcasts, channels, and apps for your Zoom HD. Uh, also, we can go to Marketplace, and you can see pics for my username, which are, what are going to load up in a second. Um, these are all artists recommended for me for the from for recommended for me from the songs that I've already played and what I like. So most and most of the songs actually go really well. I mean they they really match what I like. Um and then finally there's social. Social shows all of your friends. Um here I have a couple of friends on here. Only about four of them actually use a Zoom. And with the social you can actually um Look at their music and what they've been listening to. So, let's see, for example, um, let's go to one of my friends, Disturbed, Jolanda Confusion here. He's been listening to a song called Trivium. So we can stream it. And if I like that song, I can easily download it. Some songs are not available. So let's put this on pause. Um, you can also go to what you're displaying. You can see I, pay, I play 2,300 songs using the Zoom player. And some of my um, recent songs I've been playing. And I can also check my inbox. So... And basically up here are your settings, um, help with the Zoom software, um, and your username status with, of course, the mini player, um, minimize, maximize, and exit. So let's start with the collection. I'm going to start with music first. Um, okay. For example, Vampire Weekend. I really like them. I can play a song. Zoom image will show down there. I have fast forward, skip, pause, uh, shuffle, and repeat. Sounds nice. Um, I can also like the song if I like it. And if I don't, I can give it a hand. So, okay. Let me turn this off. You can also adjust the volume down here. Um, there's also this cool screensaver mode right here. So I can play as I can. It's like this really cool interface. And when you let the player just sit, it actually shows pictures of the artist you're playing, which is which works really well. Let's see if I could. Also, there's this option called the Mixed View, which shows related artists to the song you're playing. 
So let's say I can go to the kiosks. I can open them up. And let's say I play one of their songs by them. This one's going to be called Eight Men, I believe. From their Lost and Found album, I guess. It's opening up and it's streaming from the internet. So you have access to over 7 million tracks, I believe. So, um, it's mainly, the reason it's so slow is mainly because of my internet connection. It's not the greatest, but here it is right now. I can already tell I'm not going to like this song, but it's a chance you're going to take just playing. Um, so we can pause that. Um, let's go back. Also, um, let's see what else I can go over. The way the collection is, it's very simple. You have all of your artists. You can you can name them from A to Z, Z to A. I like A to Z. You can see all the songs, and you can see all of your albums. I have 104 albums, and I can organize them by date added, A to Z, release year, by artist, and by date added again. You can also organize your stuff by genre. So let's say I want to listen to electronic. I have a whole bunch of Owl City and Phoenix and even Mr. Scuff who came with Windows 7 to listen to Electronic. Or if I want to listen to some alternative indie, I can do Cold War Kids, Hello Goodbye, The Hoosiers, or Hot Hot Heat. Speaking of Hot Hot Heat. Next, I can do videos. I'm not going to show any of me, but let's see if I did this wildlife HD video. It plays very smoothly. The controls are absolutely the same. You can also go full screen if you wish. I'm going to press escape to exit. And I get to go back, and the video still plays in the background, so I can easily click it again. And it goes straight back to the video I've been watching. Going on to pictures. Too many. Too many. Yeah, too many of me. I know. I know. But yeah. You can take all of your pictures. Let me get a good one so I don't embarrass myself. I just embarrassed myself. Let's go back. Um, besides pictures, I don't have any 